Now, of course, there's also a physical component to rest. It's very different depending on the type of worker you are and the type of activity you do. And to illustrate the difference and the different activities, I like to use a metaphor taken from the animal world. In the animal world, you have different ways of feeding, and this is sort of continuum with two extremes. At one end of the continuum, you have the grazing category. So grazing animals include horses, cows, and giraffes. They spend a lot of time eating grass or plants, it's uh, they're grass eaters, and they have to graze all day. The moments of rest are short and the moments of grazing are very long. It's a low intensity activity. And then the second extreme, the second end of the, of the continuum is the gorging category, what I call the gorging category. The gorges are mostly meat eating species like the big cats, lions and, and leopards and cheetahs. They will spend an enormous amount of energy for a very short period of time trying to hunt prey. When they do catch a prey, it's like winning the lottery. Suddenly they have this enormous amount of calories, eat a lot, and then they need to rest the rest of the time. So when you look at this opposition and you apply it to work, you can see that you have a continuum depending on intensity and reward. So you have activities that are low intensity, low reward, that you can do and that you should do for a very long amount of time and for which you don't necessarily need that much rest. And then you have high intensity, high risk, high reward activities. You just can't do for a very long um, amount of time because it's impossible physically, it's impossible cognitively, and you need a lot of rest.